Hi, this is Jim Gibson with CableSupply.com, and today we're going to talk about what we've put together, which is a punch-down tool kit. So it's a little kit that will help you when it, when you're jacking things, when you're cabling, things like that, and you need to punch down the back, back of a patch panel, or you need to punch down a jack, uh, or you're just doing general work. Uh, what, what we did is we figured that if we have a tool with the blades, all the blades you could possibly use, um, a little uh, wire stripper that is also an inexpensive punch down, even though we don't use it as punch down, and also a, a puck. So I'm going to describe each of these things and when you use them uh, in this video. And uh, this product is on Amazon at this point. At, at t as of today, it is on Amazon. Um, but I would prefer if you bought it uh, through our website. Um, it's just a better place to buy it, but hey, buy it one place or the other, it's absolutely fine with me. So let's look at first the punch down tool, and this is called a punch down tool. And the word punch down, what it actually means, and I'm going to demonstrate it, it's how you cable uh, uh, patch panels and how you uh, cable these little jacks. Uh, and I'm going to show you all about them in a second. So first of all, what does this uh, tool come with? Well, it comes with two blades. and uh, you have a blade here that just drops in and notice it it locks in place so that's really nice when you're ready to unlock it you just twist it half a turn quarter turn pulls it out okay and the same thing with this blade now there's two different blades and I'll talk about what each one does okay a little bit of oil on these blades they are brand new and um, you have uh, two different blades you have a 110 blade a 110 blade and you have a 66 block blade and there are the two different blades now on each blade you have a cut cutting edge side you can see this and you have a push down side on the other side the, the, this side won't cut these two sides here won't cut but these two sides will so that's what you actually have and I'm going to show you I'm going to demonstrate basic punch down of cable I'm not going to demonstrate cabling a a uh, patch panel because we have other videos that do, do that uh, anyway on the blade I mean on the handle what you have is you have a place where you can put a blade storage and what you do is you just drop that in there like that you turn this a little bit push down and it locks in place it isn't going to come out so uh, that's a pretty good um, idea it's a, it works and, and really decent punch down tools have that now there's a range in punch down tools, okay? So you can get the real cheapo ones like this that don't cut the cable or anything else and and, and I'm including it in the kit and I'll show you the reason why in a minute. Uh, or you can go to a medium size thing. This is pretty good for IT people that work in an office or something and they wanna uh, check some work. You know, this is pretty good too for people who do cabling. This is not bad. Um, and it's very inexpensive. That's the thing that most people like about it it's hard it's it's heavy duty it's not going to break it's not going to twist you can see there's rivets in here uh, in both sides uh, there's pretty standard design out there or you can buy the top of the line one that costs like you know 80 90 dollars um, that's really fancy and colorful and everything else but it basically does the same thing so this is pretty much what I carry when I do uh, cabling even though I don't do as much cabling today as I used to and the reason why is it's very cost-effective it's very hard, hard to destroy. I've only ever seen one of these ever destroyed, and I think they ran over it with a truck uh, with uh, snow chains on to actually destroy it. Uh, but uh, I, I did not like the very expensive one, uh, even though it's nice and it has a, a very nice name on it and everything else. Uh, and the reason why I didn't like it was because I sometimes you lose these things. It just gets too pricey. So you need something that's professional and can do the job, and that's what this is. So we have one blade here that's in storage, and again, if you if you rotate this, it's on a spring. So if you rotate this and you turn it upside down, the blade will come out. But since it's new, it's a little tight, and it's probably not going to come out on me. Oh, there it is. So store a blade in there, the blade you're not using. This is a 110 blade. I'm not going to use that for the demo. You let that go. It's not coming out. Now the other blade, let's put that in because we're going to use that for our demo a little bit here in the video. And it snaps in place. Now that's not the right place to be. So what you got to do is you got to turn it and it snaps in place. It's not going to come out. And that's that's your punch down blade. And that's usually how I carry the tool, to tell you the truth, to put it in my uh, 
my tool bag that hangs on my belt goes right in but if I'm gonna do 66 I have the blade there but most of the time I'm gonna do 110 these days so that's that's the first product that's in the kit two blades one handle and the second thing in there is this little tool um, and I use it as a stripper this is a very inexpensive tool so it's not very pricey um, it's a very inexpensive tool and I'm going to show you why I have it it's because I like the fact that it that it strips the cable quick so you can just put that in there like that you spin this and as you spin it um, uh, you know it kind of gets easy to spin after a minute after a couple rotations and then uh, it just comes right off it doesn't seem to nick the cable uh, but there's other procedures you could use to get down to a non-nicked area that I talk in other videos. But I like it because it's able to do that. And that's just a really quick tool. It's easier to strip a cable that way. It does it very quick. It's just really a nice thing to have. Now, this is also a 110 punch down, and it can act as a 110 punch down, but it's not that great, to be honest with you. But the reason I put it in the kit is this kit is what I use when I cable. And I've been cabling for most of my adult life. So I know how to do this stuff. And uh, this is what I use in my kit. And, and I also designed this kit to be inexpensive, even though these are the tools I use and this is the quality I use. But this is inexpensive enough that if you're an IT guy, like a Microsoft person, and you're maintaining an office and someone says, hey, that jack isn't good, I need to go in and replace it. Well, you need these type of tools in your tool bag. And um, it just really helps. And also if you're doing cabling, uh, these type of tools are the tools that you need. So let's look at the last thing, and it's called a, uh, a jack puck. And uh, what I like about a jack puck is you can put the jack in here, and it has different areas for different type of design jacks. So some jacks go in there when you punch down this way. Uh, other jacks, you do it this way. Uh, different manufacturers, this one fits really well there. It, it, it's not going to the strongest thing in the world, you know, you could pull it out so it's not going to prevent you from pulling it out, but it kind of holds it in place. And so what you do is you take your cable and you take your stripper, right? And again, we're just doing this sloppy, it's very quick. I just want to show you the parts and what they do. Uh, I'm just going to take one pair and of, of course you, you take them and spread them apart. If you see here, it has a place where you can actually take a tie wrap and make that cable stay in place like that. If you want to, that's up to you. You push it down, and that's where you're at. So you're right there. Uh, and that's what the puck does. So when you take the cutting edge, and you put it in like this, and you see how it's, it's, it's in there, and the cutting edge is right there, it's going to catch on that little ridge when you punch down. So I'm going to punch down now. And I usually do it two times in a row. And it's just a habit with me. You can do it once. Sometimes it cuts one time, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, but at any rate, push it down and it comes right off. So I'm just showing you. I'm not actually doing the color code right or anything else. I'm just showing you how it punches down, what it does, how it does it. It's nice and tight there. You want to keep it tight. You don't want to, you don't want to straighten those things out and have them run forever parallel. So you want to keep that twist in there. You want to keep it tight everything else and then when you're all done with the rest of the stuff you put the caps on and you're done now the, now why use a puck well okay that's really hard to punch down you know you sit there and you you take it on a carpet or something you know it's it's sticking out of the wall and you want to use your punch down tool on a carpet well I'll tell you what that that is really difficult because there's too much squeeze in the carpet so you put it up against the wall and then it makes indentations in the wall isn't it nice just to have a puck just in your hand, so you can do one of these things. You can actually use your hand if you have to. Uh, so, you know, another little trick here that I think I show you in some of the other videos is you put that on there like this and you twist it and it takes the, the twist out of the cable. So you put the, the part in there. And again, I'm not doing it according to color code because that's this is not a video on how to wire a jack. This is just to show you the tools. So I'm gonna push it in here. Cuts it. Always push it twice. That's my way of doing it. It's just my style. Okay. But notice I did it on my hand. I could do it with my palm like that. I did it on my hand. Even if I put this up against the wall or on the carpet, if there's not enough spring now in the carpet when you're punching down. It's not going to damage the wall because the stress is spread out. 
through the uh, the whole thing and um, is, so I just want to make sure that you're seeing this um, and you can finish that you know that's just a, an illustration of what the tools do so this is the uh, the different things that can be done with this little kit and it's kind of nice you know if I'm cabling a jack or um, I'm cabling a patch panel uh, this is pretty much what I want uh, to have with me. These are the tools that I'm going to want. Um, you know, of course, the other tools. You know, you got a butt set, you got screwdrivers and pliers and things like that. You're going to need those. But let's take a look at here's a 12 port patch panel, the back of the patch panel. And it's going to be the same thing. You know, it's uh, you take the, uh, the, the, uh, the end here. So I'll make sure I'm within the screen. And uh, you take the end like that. And I mean, sometimes you're talking about six, especially six A and things like that. It's hard to get these things untwisted. So you just stick it in there. And I'm just going to stick it in anywhere, okay? Just to show you. So let's say I stick it in here, okay? And again, I'm not looking at color code or anything else. I'm demonstrating the tools, okay? So you don't need to send me um, text messages or messages on the website showing me that I punched it down wrong. I know I, I'm not paying attention to color code. So I'm putting this in here like that. And can you see that? I'm putting that in there like that, and I'm just punching down, same way as before. Now, before I punch down the other one, I want to show you this little punch down thing. This is silly at best, the punch down. I like it because it's a brilliant stripper. It really works well for such an inexpensive tool. And you just push it in. You see it's pushed in. And that's fine. If that's all you have, you can do it. And then you just cut off the end here. You know, you can twist it like this and it'll eventually just call it, pull off or you get a regular scissors and it will just eventually pull off. There you go. So, I made a kit. Other people are just selling the punch down tool. I figure it's kind of nice to get everything you need just to, to really do a professional job. And uh, so, when you look at this on our website or on Amazon, uh, just realize that it's just a little different. It's a very inexpensive punch down tool, yet at the same time, it's very professional. If I can get that to come out, that other blade. And you always need these type of two blades, you know, the, to do things. And I don't know if I showed you at the beginning, it also has um, uh, these two helping tools. And that's really good that when you punch down somewhere wrong, on your um, cord, you can get your, you know, you can go in there and just grab the one cable you need. Just pull it up. Or if it's not seating right, you can use this and push it down all the way into that, that area. So there's two things you can do. Pull up the cable, and when you're in tight and there's a lot of cables, then you really need this thing to, to, to pull the cable out. Just the one cable you need. Sometimes you can't get your fingers in there to get it. And then, of course, you know, again, this one. You just, you know, if you had a cable here and it wasn't quite seating right, you could, you could use that other tool to, to get in there and do that. It's always nice that it's right there at your, your fingertips. Very tough tool. You know, I bet you, um, you can hammer a nail in with this tool. It's not going to break. Very tough plastic, very strong. It doesn't twist. Um, I try it and, uh, it's just a great tool. So please go into Amazon, buy the tool. It comes in a box like this. And, uh, or you can buy it on our website, our website at uh, cablesupply.com. Um, and thank you for watching my video, and you have a nice day. Hi, this is Jim with cablesupply.com. Hi, this is Jim from cablesupply.com. Hi, this is Jim with cablesupply.com, and today I'm going to show you how to cut a hole in the drywall. This is David, signing out. You stay classy, Internet. <laughs>